uh, our distinguished guest today, Ambassador Brahane Gabra Christos. Ambassador Brahane Gabra Christos, uh, before I introduce his title, let me say he's also a personal friend, a very good friend, a person whom I respect, and I'm very happy that he today agreed to come and uh, meet us. Uh, Ambassador Brahane will correct me if I introduce him as uh, a chief representative of the um, uh, TDF or TPLF uh, in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, so ha if I made a mistake, Ambassador Brahane, you can correct me. No problem. I think you've uh, introduced me correctly. So no problem with that. I will go with that. Um, the, Ethiopians, uh, the problem that we Ethiopians are facing today is essentially political. And the major uh, contentious or burning issue is the state building. And is that the United Front of Ethiopian Federalist and Confederalist Forces has been created. Uh, there are nine uh, groups that have uh, taken part in here. Uh, the Afar, Algo, Benishangul, Command, Somali, the Oromo, OLF, OLA, Sidama, Gambilla, Tigray. The members have agreed on some issues. They have agreed to have an all round coordination against the regime in Addis. Abi is not going to, Abi is not listening. He is not listening at all right now. And, and how are you going to reach him? to a person who's really in a corner. Um, and Obasanjo has not been extraordinarily helpful or very active. And so are there any other opportunities? Thank you very much for your uh, excellent explanation. I, uh, I hope that uh, you have military success fairly soon because it seems as if the situation is uh, only becoming more drastic. Even if Abi sticks to his guns, which unfortunately seems to be doing, do you is there hope that some people around him, either in government or in the military, uh, realize that this is going nowhere and might force him to well to accept to accept cessation of hostilities or force him to so, step down? Uh, oh, Dr. Eleni Gabramedian whose house was recently investigated, just joined us. <laughs> to see all of our friends from the former diplomatic community. It's also a great honor to hear from Ambassador Brahane Gabra Christos, uh, for whom I have deep respect, and uh, to encourage him in the work that he's doing. So I'll stop there. So one of the things post transition or part of transition is the reconstruction, the economic reconstruction mm -hmm. of Ethiopia. Uh, and some form of a Marshall Plan. To what extent has there been some kind of an estimation um, of the extent of the Marshall Plan uh, that would be required to bring Ethiopia back to even where we were three years ago? Beyond the political arrangement of the transitional uh, arrangement and pr prior to that, the provisional administration that you described, what, um, in, in your view, would be also a plan for the social reconstruction, not only the political arrangements, but how we will come back together as a society? And some might even question whether we were ever together as a society. Collapse of Abi regime we will definitely create a security vacuum at the center, and this should come into place as soon as possible. And there has been consultation taking place amongst different political parties. So the understanding and support of the international community would be very important. I think definitely all of you here have a role, great role to play on that. Uh, as friends of Ethiopia and as people who understand Ethiopia, I think you will uh, put all your efforts to make this happen.